party people? How you doing? It's Marie here with another Q&A Tuesday. All right, so today's question comes from Kate and Kate writes, what do you do when you get burned out and start to question everything you're creating? Everything you've worked on, everything you're working towards, and all you wanna do is stay in bed all day. I thought this was a very juicy question, Kate. Burnout is huge these days, especially for those of us who are running our businesses from home. If you got an online business like I do, you can work 24 seven. You're always on the computer, you got a smartphone, you're on email, it just never ends. And so if you've been burning the candle at both ends to the point where you wanna stay in bed all day, guess what? Do it. In fact, if I were you, I would take two full days and completely just veg out in bed. Do not try and figure out the meaning of life. Do not go on email, completely disconnect. And if you do have the energy to do anything, maybe work out, take a walk in nature, just do really fun stuff so you can get yourself recharged. Now here's the really important part. Once you get back to a baseline, you need to put some practices in place that will prevent you from going down that burnout zone ever again. The best strategy I've found is to get down with what I call NNT. You down with NNT, yeah you know me. You down with NNT, yeah you know me. Who's down with NNT? How's that go? That last? <laughs> Every last homemade or something. Okay, we'll figure it out. NNT stands for non-negotiable time. So it's daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly time that is non-negotiable set aside for you. So non-negotiable time are just things that you do every day that are non-negotiable, just like eating, brushing your teeth, going to the bathroom. You don't have to think about it, it just happens. The key here is to choose simple activities that if you do them every day, you're gonna keep yourself in tip-top shape physically, spiritually, and emotionally. This is the way that you automate your self-care. You may have heard me say this before, but I have three NNT activities, and that's daily meditation, little daily green juice that I absolutely love, and as often as I can fit it in exercise. And I'll tell you, even if I can't get to the gym for a full-on workout, I will do some crazy shit, yo, like doing squats while I'm blow drying my hair, or doing like calf raises while I'm on the phone. I will fit exercise in at any juncture, so you can do that too. When I do those things, I'm on track mentally, emotionally, and physically. And when I don't do those things, that's when the wheels start to come off for little Miss Marie. Of course, you've got to make a conscious effort to form this new habit, but it is not rocket science. Here's a little fun factoid for you. Old school used to say that it takes 21 days to form a habit, but I did a little research on your behalf, and the newest research suggests that it takes two months, 66 days to be exact, to form a new habit. So you definitely have to get yourself in the motion, but you can do it. Bonus points time. What I want you to do is in the comments below this video, tell me your three NNT activities. Do it now. That's what we got for you today. If you like this video, like it or share it with your friends. And if you're not yet on the newsletter list, come on over to marieforleo.com and jump on it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.